Hi Jane, thanks for taking the time to go through our 17 questions brought to you by Dell Technologies. Did you always dream of owning your own business? I did not. I was a banker for years in my early career and I never really thought I'd be anything but a banker. But, uh, you know, things change as you, as you go through life. And I ne had you told me then that I would be sitting in a studio that's my very own with the team that I've hired, I wouldn't have believed you, but it's great to be here. How would you describe yourself in three words? Mm. Curious, um, ambitious, and a feminist. Why monogramming? I grew up in the preppy 1980s when monogramming was a huge fashion trend and it just became part of my DNA, I think. I then and now monogram practically everything I own. And why London? I moved to London in 1999 when I, when I was a banker and I, I never left. I've raised four children here. Um, all of them are as English as English can be. Um, and I don't think I'll ever leave. I really love the city. I'm constantly inspired by it. Um, and as an ex-New Yorker, that's quite a strong statement. What were the greatest challenges about starting a business in the UK? I think the biggest, most intimidating challenge is the funding. <laughs> because when you're starting up and you need to invest in the equipment you need, you need to invest if you're in a product business in working capital. Um, and those working capital needs get bigger all the time as you grow. That was really intimidating. And what prompted you to join the FSB? I met the FSB team at a business expo at the Excel Center when I was in the very early stages of planning my business. And they offered some really tangible ben benefits that were helpful, like the free banking and the, the insurance, which I still use, but also just really great resources, libraries of documents and and advice. It's been really, uh, uh, I couldn't have run my business without it. Do you think networking is particularly beneficial to female business owners? Indeed, indeed. And I think we our network isn't as extensive as men's are. And so I'm constantly looking for great opportunities to meet other business women. I've just joined DWIN, which is the Dell Women's Entrepreneur Network. And it has been amazing getting us an opportunity to share ideas, share resources, and uh, help each other is, uh, is, is an incredible uh, resource. Initially, London came top in the digital e-commerce category at this year's FSB London Celebrating Small Business Awards. Yeah. Were you surprised? I was. It was an amazing surprise to win. Um, it was a great shot in the arm for my incredible team because we all work as a small business, we all work together and we had been plodding away at, at uh, putting the SEO that we needed in the website, doing the digital marketing, taking the photographs of all the product um, and all of that on, in the digital side is, is absolutely essential. But I never thought we'd win and it was amazing when we did. What proportion of your business depends on online sales? The retail side of the business, which is what we're doing here in the studio, is the majority of what we do. And so, um, you know, projects with our own products that we sell online is, is the overwhelming majority. We also have a trade side, like these yoga mats. A client has brought those in and we white label monogram for them. And are you studio based or out and about on the go? Well, this is, as you can see, this is our, our production studio. This is Rosie and that's Poppy over there who are embroidering away. So we do all of the work here in our studio. We also, at the front as you came in, that was our retail studio. And people do come in and shop with us, but we love to go out. And now that we can, we're doing lots of pop-ups all over London. The majority is done here though. Desktop or laptop? Laptop, for sure. And what piece of technology couldn't you live without? <sighs> well, it's, it's, this, it's this package, isn't it? So our embroidery machines and our laser etching machine over in the corner, they, this is what, what produces what we sell. But we are very much driven by graphic design software. And so we have a Dell laptop that powers all of the graphic design uh, programs for both the, the laser and the machines. And we literally couldn't live without it. Um, when, a when a laptop crashes, it sets you back. This laptop never crashes. This is the one we fight over. And how many people are there in your team? We have eight at the moment. We have four here on the embroidery side of things and four on the admin side. And then when the Christmas season comes around in the second half of the year, we'll bring in some seasonal help to help us with that crush. And where do you find inspiration for new products? 
all over. Um, we love it when clients bring us an idea. They'll sit, see something when they're traveling or maybe they'll need something and they can't find us. And so that's probably inspiration number one. Um, we go out looking for products. We go to New York and Morocco and Europe, um, looking in markets and at trade shows for really great products that'll wear a beautiful embroidered monogram well. And what excites you most about the future? Ah, the future looks good, finally. After two years of, of uh, being in lockdown and worrying about uh, what the future holds, I finally feel confident enough to say the future looks great. I'm really excited about bringing all the ideas that we've been hatching during lockdown, bringing them, bringing them to life, really. And what role will technology play in your growth? Absolutely essential. We could not run our business without the software and the hardware that, uh, that drive it. And what would be your best advice for other small business owners starting out? Just believe in yourself, in your business idea, put one foot in front of the other and it'll happen. It's been great talking to you, Jane. Thanks for answering our 17 questions brought to you by Dell Technologies.